Philip Sedley Killingsley and Louise Margaret Grace McLaren married this morning in Lime Bay. Both now and all. <laughs> and while they're enjoying champagne with a few close family and friends, just up the road we're working flat out to make sure their first meal together as man and wife will be a feast to remember. We've ransacked the River Cottage garden for potatoes, beans, beetroot, fennel and salads and scoured the fields for wild mushrooms and plundered the local car park for cherry plum wine. The polytunnel is bursting with aubergines, peppers, tomatoes and there's an army of veg marching through the kitchen to feed our 70 guests. starter is a gazpacho, a classic tangy, tomatoey, garlicky, bready, cucumbery, uh, oniony soup. And it's going to be served chilled. It's going to be the first thing they get when they sit down and it's just going to blow them away. It's about the most exciting soup there is really. It's so full of flavours. And it's easy to make. Just grate a couple of garlic cloves into a bowl of torn up bread Add a little water, mix well, and soak for a few minutes. Then whiz up the garlicky soaked bread in batches with skinned tomatoes, cucumber, peppers and onions, and then build up the texture with more roughly chopped tomato flesh. And that's really good. It's got a lovely tomatoey freshness, but it just needs something, a little extra oomph to sharpen it up. And I'm going to use some apple balsamic vinegar, which is heady stuff. It's going to be a really fresh, exhilarating start to the wedding feast, even more so when it's had a couple of hours to chill right down for maximum refreshment. The plan is to keep the food coming from the moment everybody sits down. First up is a tasty trio of baba ganoush, Carrot and beetroot hummus served with spicy pistachio dukkah. Can we have some service, please? The great advantage of removing the tyrannical slab of meat from the table is that you can give equal weight to so many different dishes, and that makes the whole feast less predictable and more fun. The gazpacho is lovely and cold, really refreshing, but still absolutely packed with all that tomato and pepper flavour. So it's just getting a final sprinkling of cool cucumber for a bit of crunch, a little bit of basil for aromatic, and Rob is just following up with these delicious croutons. 